how to do AK-47 reloads for film, movie, and TV shows? That's what we'll answer in today's video. Hi, my name is Dylan Wilson with CBT Stunt Alliance. Train hard, perform easy. We help actors, stunt performers, filmmakers, and content creators learn professional stunt training for use in film, TV, and live action entertainment. Before we get underway, if you'd like to add movie rifle, carbine, and shotgun training to your current actor or stunt performer skill set, Check out our highly popular online rifle, carbine, and shotgun master course at MovieRifleTraining.com or click on the link below this video. You can learn all the movie set gun safety basics, how to properly hold and fire a carbine or rifle, how to present and, and, uh, and shoot a carbine or rifle, and all types of tactical movements, all types of, of amazing reloads, transitions, even how to do scene work with rifles and carbines and more all taught by pro armors for the film and TV industry. You can sign up now and start training now. Go to MovieRifleTraining.com for more information. Okay, so we get a lot of questions about tactical movie gun training for film and TV. So we're gonna share a few things with you. So why use an AK-47 reload for film and TV production? Well, for two reasons. One, amazing production value. They significantly boost production value, especially for any type of movie gun choreography. And two, for character development. The audience definitely believes your character when you can perform this technique properly. Check out the clip from the movie Heat to see carbine reloads in action, what they do for character development, and how much they add to your, could add to your reel or even any production. Now I'm actually an experienced stunt coordinator in armor for film and TV turned full-time director. This is something I plan to do from the beginning of my career, even attending and graduating film school as a director. Along my journey, I noticed that being a stunt coordinator in armor made me a better director, and being a director made me a better stunt coordinator in armor. Now how this benefits you is that I can share with you insights and experience from both sides of the camera, as well through all phases of production. Okay, so before we begin movie gun training, we always do a safety briefing. Now, this is different than the one that we do on set since you're at home and we're not actually issuing any prop guns to you. Yet with us, safety is always paramount. This will serve as your safety briefing. Again, it's different than the ones that we do on set since we're not issuing you any movie guns. Yet since we wish to instill safe practices into you, we modified it for your benefit. So pick up your movie prop gun, keep your finger off the trigger, make sure it's on safe as well as unloaded. So finger here on the frame, unloaded. Same with this one. Finger here, unloaded, and it's on safe. Now, as a reminder, never do any movie gun training with real firearms. Do not do dry fire. Make sure you invest in a, a good movie prop. If you need to find one, watch our video on how to get a, a movie prop gun for cheap. The link is below this video. We're going to cover some prop gun safety rules that you can use at home. These are different from gun safety rules that you use on a live fire range. You can learn more about the differences with our highly popular video, Real Firearms Training versus Movie Gun Training. The link to it is below this video. So I wish for you to, to memorize the acronym DIFU or DIFU. The DI stands for direction. So we always want, we always want to point the movie gun in a safe direction and never point it at another person. Even if it's a, uh, you know, airsoft or something like that, it doesn't matter. You always, you always train the same way. So there are two directions that are, you are clear to point the firearm in. One is straight down into the ground. So if you're up standing around you're between scenes or something, you can take the pistol or the carbine and just let it hang by your side and point straight down to the ground. That's a safe direction. The second direction is whatever the armor determines to be down range, which is safe. And for you, that'll be a wall. So you choose a wall in your house or your apartment. 
Make sure it's not a place that's highly trafficked where people can walk in front of you or something. It could even be aimed inside of a closet, right? So whatever, whatever place is good for you. For me, it's gonna be a 180 degree arc from this wall all the way out to camera to this wall. I won't be pointing back that way because sometimes I'll have to show you like this and then sometimes I'll show you like this. So then this 180 degree arc is, my, is down range for me, yet I won't point it back that way. And this is how you have to be so you always are aware of where you're pointing your, your movie prop gun. The F is you always keep your finger off the trigger and you wanna keep it on the frame of any movie prop gun that you're carrying. Keep it away, don't put it here. Some people put it here in a trigger guard or something like that, no, keep it on the frame until the armorer tells you or shows you otherwise. The U stands for unloaded. So keep it unloaded and you can always check and make sure it's unloaded once again until the armorer tells or shows you otherwise. Okay, this concludes our safety briefing. Now that you've done that, go ahead and insert one magazine into your movie prop gun. And listen to the instructions given by the armorer. So in today's instructional, we're gonna cover how to do a, a, a speed reload with an AK-47. It's actually from our master course. This one is unique. It's one that's not re hasn't really been seen before in film and TV. So if you're using it in your reel or in an audition or something, you're gonna really stand out. So we're gonna demonstrate it first and then break it down step by step on what you, uh, on how to actually do it. So we start out first by shouldering it and we're gonna fire it three times. And when you're holding an AK, you can put your thumb here on the handguard, just like that. Not here because it can get burned on the tube or you can hold it like this, either way it's fine. So we're here. And what we're gonna do, the, the shooting cadence is gonna be bang, bang, click. The, uh, you're gonna notice on the click that the barrel does not rise. That's when we're gonna initiate doing the reload. Bang, bang, click. Bang, bang, bang. And that's it. So we're gonna cover now how to actually do it. So one of the key things is staging everything. And, and there are other ways of reloading an AK-47, obviously. This is not the only way. It ideally, you wish to have a way that is not common and that is cinematic and stands out because that's gonna get the audience to go, ooh, that was different, oh, that's interesting. And the same thing's gonna happen with production, a producer, director. Uh, so with the M4, when we stage magazines we're usually going to stage them with the bullets facing forward and we grab the magazine with the finger on the front so we can actually point point the magazine into the carbine when we're reloading it with this though we're going to do the exact opposite we're going to see how the, the bend is facing forward that curve is facing forward we're going to flip it so that the bend is facing away see that and the reason we're going to do this is because when we go to grab the magazine we want to hold the magazine in our hand like this. See how much, see where the magazines have all this extra space? Not like this, like this. So I can actually hold another magazine. I can hold two magazines in my hand, right? That's, that's the key thing. So when we grab it, we wanna grab it like that, okay? Now, that's the key development. So let's walk it through step by step. So we're here, and early in another video, you learn how to fire a carbine properly with the stance and everything. So we're here, we're gonna pull a trigger, we're gonna fire, bang, bang, click. At this point, we're gonna keep the carbine locked into our shoulder, we're gonna keep a cheek to stock well, and all we're gonna do is let go with the firing hand, grab the charging handle, and pull the charging handle back. Right, and that's what's gonna keep it locked into our shoulder. You see that? It's gonna keep it locked into our shoulder. So that looks. So usually when you do a reload, you put the new magazine in, and the other way of, re of reloading AK is you take it out and you're here, you put a new magazine in and you gotta, you gotta work the charging handle underneath or, or charge the handle over the top. 
and then you put it back into your shoulder and continue firing. The benefit with this one is you never take it, you never break a, a cheek to stock well. You keep it there the whole time. So it looks different. So everyone else is coming here to reload or something and you're, you're staying here the whole time. And now since the charging handle is already to the rear, the moment you put the new magazine in, you just release the charging handle and you're instantly ready to fire. It actually, your uh, people are actually able to shoot faster this way than with the other reloads. All right, so let's walk through it. Bang, bang, click. Hold back the charging handle. With this hand, we're gonna grab that magazine the way I showed you before. See that extra thumb? Now here's the thing. This is how we drop the mag on an AK-47, by pushing it right in here, depressing that. That's the magazine release, right? So this thumb is gonna come up and press that magazine release, taking the other magazine out and dropping it. So this is called the toe of the magazine. This is called the heel of the magazine. And we're gonna insert the toe of the magazine into the magazine well and lock in the heel. That's what we do. So at this point, once we're here, we do that, this hand then leaves the magazine, goes back to the grips. We release the charging handle and, and, and resume firing. Bang, bang, bang. All right, so we're gonna do that again, a little smoother. Once again, you know how to stage it now. So if you have your, make sure you have your AK and you're, you're following along with this. So once again, bang, bang, click. Grab the charging handle, pull it to the rear, secure the other magazine with that extra space. Reach up with the thumb, depress the magazine release, drop it on the ground, insert the toe of the new one, lock in the heel, grab the, the foregrip, release the charging handle, resume firing, bang, bang, bang. So it's simple uh, when you practice, just again, just knowing those steps, and it actually saves off time from the other ways. Now, one of the things that we always do for a CBT stunt team, for ourselves and even for our students, whatever we do on one side, we always do on the other. So we always practice being ambidextrous. And if you watch any of our videos, you know this because you, there's a variety of reasons for doing this. Yeah, here's the one exception. Can't do this one on both sides because if you switch shoulders, right, you can't hold the charging handle back with the left hand. <laughs> Right? So you could only do this one, this type of uh, speed reload on the right side because that's where the charging handle is and that's how you'd have to operate it. Right? Since there's no charging handle on the left side, we can't do it on both sides. So this one, you just become really good with the, uh, with the right, uh, right side and uh, you see all, notice all the steps now. The key thing is knowing how to prep the magazine, how to stage it properly first, how to hold the magazine in your hand, that's why it's worth practicing holding it like that so you have all the extra space and then as you're coming up depressing the magazine release dropping the old magazine putting the toe in locking the heel in back here and letting it go all right so those are all the steps i'll go ahead and pause the video and practice doing that now broken down step by step to make it easy for you to understand lastly we'll finish up by sharing some tips for character development film and TV production recommendations, and more. Yet before we do, check this out. Let's take a sneak peek and look inside this master course that was made by professional armorers for film and TV, stunt coordinators, actors, and filmmakers for professional actors, stunt performers, and filmmakers and content creators. By the way, if you're a veteran or experienced with firearms, you're gonna learn how to convert your skills into movies and TV. Now the first thing you see is you notice that we designed our platform to be intuitive and easy to use. So it's right here, how many classes, there are 91 instructional classes in here, so there's a lot of information in here to fuel your entire career. Also, each master course starts out with an introduction and a safety briefing from your instructors. Let's go ahead and hop in and take a look at one of them. Now let's listen to what they have to say. It has value and those teachers oftentimes are able to help other people grow, expand and become more. So when you have that rare occasion, when you can have those who- and They actually, you know, share their background, you know, their pertinent information and actually brief you to be safe as you're going through the training. Plus you also see that there is a, a cheat sheet, which is an actual handout that accompanies a course, which is so crucial to help you learning everything. We're gonna take a look at that in a moment. Plus 
We have our, our private online social community, which we actually take a look at a little bit later on. These are all resources that, in, that are here to help you and support you as you grow your career. Plus you get uh, premium email support, you know, our email address, you can ask us questions you know, at any time. As you notice, our innovative master course platform shows you if you finished that instructional or not. Right, so let's say if you're you're going through the instructionals and you haven't, uh, you, you've watched like one or two of them and then you get busy and you're not able to, to look at it again for a week. Well, otherwise you have to come back and try to figure out which video you left off at and you have to rewatch certain videos. No, it tells you which one you actually completed, what percentage uh, of the unit you completed, as well as which one to start at next. Also, it's broken down to be very easy to learn. So each of these blocks here is called a unit and each of these is a, a video instructional each one about 10 minutes long we keep them about 10 minutes long so they're bite size easy to absorb there are some that are a little bit longer because they have to be yeah for the most part each one's 10 minutes long so let's go ahead and take a look at one now we're going to look at the carbine rifle submachine gun and shotgun academy and you know here we'll take a look at some of the shooting stances take a look at the crouch so let's take a listen in this instructional on how to do one of the shooting stances known as the crouch. And, you know, like this. The thinking is also a lot of times they'll have body armor or a ballistic vest or, or some type of ballistic protection. And when they're doing that, if you notice his shoulders are square, let's go directly towards the camera, his shoulders. And you see it's step-by-step -step instructional, so you learn exactly what to do. You know, you learn the reasons why you're doing it and you learn how to play it perfectly for camera each and every time. So here's another unit, Pro Screen Tips for Carbine and Rifle. So let's take a look at one now, Cinematic Carbine Reload number one, a tactical reload. So when he pulls it, he's gonna produce it like that. And now it's gonna be in his hand. And you see how it forms an L shape with the other magazine? So his, now his support hand, you take some ambidextrous, I mean some uh, dexterity rather, it forms the L shape, that's the key thing. You know, one of the other things, there are things that we call live action video displays, and these are actually clips from movies, like we have one here uh, from the movie John Wick, that shows you how everything that you're learning, how it actually looks in the final cut in the movie, so you observe how it all ties together. So let's take a, a, a listen to this one from the movie John Wick. These are transitions and reloads. There's, there's that reload. See how quickly it happens. Yeah, we're gonna go on now to the shotgun clinic. And it shows you everything you need to know cinematically on how to use the, the shotgun to, uh, for dramatic effect. Let's take a look at one of these. So from here, I'm here, I play the camera, and then I go up and down. That sound and that motion, and if you observe, you probably saw the shell. And once again, let's take a look at one of the live action video displays for that same one, for the dramatic one arm reload with the shotgun. We'll look at how it was used in a movie before. One of the other favorites with stunt performers and actors is the car is the unit, the carbine disarm double play. And these are some of the disarms that are the most cinematic and famous used in, uh, in all of film and TV history. Let's take a look at one of these now. So I'm here. Yeah, I step and grab. I'm secure. I'm locked in my shoulder. Try to pull this away from me. It is locked in. Everything we're showing you is combat effective. Right? It also is going to move. Now I'm going to step with this foot. And this hand I'm going to throw a punch going to cross. This one is our monthly sharpen and polish video conference lab. Each month we do this and it's designed to actually help you with your career. Try it 48 hours risk-free. If you don't like our carbine and rifle movie gun training master course, or don't think it will work for you, we'll refund every penny. Who else lets you go through their movie gun training and then if you're not happy, gives you a complete refund? Bottom line, we're passionate about making our customers happy and keeping them that way. So well worth the investment if you're serious about adding rifle, carbine, and shotgun movie gun training to your current acting or stunt performer skill set. And understand that most stunt performers and actors don't invest in movie gun training. A small percentage invest in real gun tactical training and learn the most basic of skills. Also, local movie gun training classes are very rare and virtually never teach this type of stuff. They focus more on you walking around looking tactical and none of the other skills. So you'll have a significant advantage when auditioning and performing. 
Now we'll finish up by sharing some tips for character development, film and TV production recommendations and more. All right, some helpful tips. Cinematically, uh, one of the things that you can do to really maximize production value is duck behind cover when you do it. And we're gonna demonstrate that now. So just imagine it's like, a, you know, we're shooting around a corner or a pillar or a tree and we're here firing, bang, bang, click. Right, now we're gonna duck behind cover, grab it, perform the reload, come right back, bang, bang, bang. You see that? And so what that does, it adds a lot more to the action sequence instead of you just standing there the whole time just doing it. It always heightens the stakes and lets the audience know that you are a mortal character, that you can be killed, and that you've had more training because really only people with training are gonna sit there and after firing and realizing that they have to reload, duck behind cover, do a, a quick reload and come right back and fire. If you notice a lot of times in movies and TV shows in years past, you know, the actors or performers would shoot and then when they run out of bullets, they'd be surprised. They're, you know, they're supposed to be experienced soldiers in law enforcement, they're going bang, 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 click. And they're like, they're so surprised that the firearm is empty. And even worse, some of them take the firearm and then throw it at the person. It's like, what the hell are you doing, right? So uh, one of the ways of, of increasing the stakes and making that look really badass is ducking behind cover. The next thing is the roles that this works for are obviously the uh, military. Depending on the military, you know, that uh, military force that you're playing, or, you know, depending on where you are in the world when you're playing the military. In the U.S., usually the villains are the ones carrying the, the, uh, the AK-47. Or elite soldiers, especially in the, in the U.S. military, even special forces and our elite uh, military, uh, elite soldiers train with other weapons as well. So it will work for elite soldiers. Uh, also, even mercenaries, all day, every day. It would not be good uh, to use to play law enforcement roles like police or even SWAT because they don't even in the U.S. they don't even use weapons like this. All right, so make sure you like this video and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Also, make sure to sign up for our Pro Stunt Tips email newsletter to receive movie gun training tips in your inbox. Lastly, if you like more information about our rifle, carbine, and shotgun movie gun training uh, online master course, go to MovieRifleTraining.com. Prepare to have your mind blown. Or click on the link below this video. Again, my name is Dylan Wilson with CBT Stun Alliance. Don't miss our next video where we share with you another movie gun training tip. See you next video.